In this module, we'll talk about cytoskeleton and we'll look at an example of actin, which is a type of cytoskeleton. As I've mentioned previously, plasma membrane is fluid. Plasma membrane cannot give a specific structure to any entity. It is like a piece of cloth. If you put a piece of cloth on a table, it will assume a rectangular shape. If you put the same piece of cloth on a ball, it will assume a spherical shape. So, where does the shape of cell come from? Shape of a cell is also very important for its function. For example, red blood cells, they're disc shaped and they're flexible, which allows them to squeeze through narrow blood vessels. Neurons, for example, is another type of cell. It makes these long processes that allows it to communicate with cells which are at a great distance. So, if the RBCs or red blood cells had these long processes, they will, they will not be able to do their function. And if neurons do not have these long processes, they will not be able to do their function. The cell function is very important and it is dependent upon the cell's shape. The cell shape is basically the, the, the responsibility of the skeleton which is present in the cell. Cell has three different types of skeletal elements. It has microfilaments or actin filaments, intermediate filaments and the microtubules. All these skeletal elements are polymers. They are polymers of smaller molecules which are linked together to form these filaments. Let's look at them one by one. We will first look at actin filaments. Actin, as we also saw in the animation previously, actin exists in two forms, G-actin and F-actin. Globular actin polymerizes smaller units of actin attached to each other and they form these helical structures, which are actin filaments. Actin plays a very important role in, for different cells. For example, uh, you may have heard of amoeba. It's a type of cell. It's a unicellular cell. It moves around with the help of, uh, with the help of a pseudopodia. And basic mechanism of pseudopodia function is dependent upon actin. Cells, in cells, you need to move the cytoplasm around. Cytoplasmic streaming. Cytoplasmic streaming is also very important for cell survival and actin filaments play that role in the cell. Muscle contraction, as we know, muscle is made up of two different types of fibers, actin and myosin. Actin is the cytoskeletal element along which myosin fibers glide, resulting in muscular contraction. Actin is also responsible for splitting one cell into two. It is the ring of actin filament that forms in the center of a dividing cell. Think of uh, this. You have a ball made up of a dough. You run a string around it and then you stretch the string. Now the ball of dough will split into two balls. This is basically what happens in, uh, in when after the chromosomes have separated, this ring of actin filaments forms and it when it contracts, it splits the cell into two. Also, actin filament gives structural support to small finger-like projections which are present in different parts of our body, the microvilli. This actin support is necessary for these projections to maintain their shape. Next, we will talk about microtubules and intermediate filaments. 